Howdy, tube -ubers. Okay, well, if it's me, it must be a review. And uh, tonight, that review is of... Uh, now I'm not I'm not going to uh, compare how good or bad this was to the one with uh, Piper Laurie and Sissy Spacek, the one with Patricia Clarkson and Angela Bettis. I'm just going to review this movie um, on its own as if it was just a new, fresh movie. Um, so yeah, this one here has Julianne Moore playing the mom, and uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, who I'm a big fan of, uh, playing Carrie White. Um, this was directed by Kimberly Pierce. Uh, she did Boys Don't Cry with Hilary Swank. It was a good film. <clears throat> when she was uh, asked if she wanted to do this movie, she uh, was actually a big fan of the uh, Stephen King novel from back in the day, and... Uh, had read it numerous times and decided to reread it and uh, thought she could put her own, uh, you know, that there was uh, more stuff that she could add that would make it, uh, you know, wholly original in its own right. Um, from what I understand, it's been a long time since I've read the book, but uh, I think she was pretty accurate and close to the book. Uh, I really like this film. I thought it was well done. Um, it's been a really long time since I've seen the one with the uh, Sissy Spacek and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Um, and I really like the Angela Bettis, Patricia Clarkson one. But, uh, I just thought this was really well done. Um, Chloe Grace, you know, discovers she has her, uh, telekinetic powers and can move stuff and whatnot. And of course, we all know the story, you know, she gets a bucket of pig's blood dumped on her, and uh, basically all hell breaks loose. Uh, when that part of the movie hits, when the pig's blood hits, and uh, she starts to go nuts and destroying the gymnasium and the preceding uh, buildings and cars and everything else, yeah, um, I really dig that a lot. Um, I love the look that uh, Chloe Grace Moretz as Carrie White gets on her face when she's, you know, covered in the blood and it's almost very serpentine uh, and whatnot. Um, some really, uh, one really fun part I liked was uh, the man and the woman, the guy and the girl, that uh, basically dumped the blood on her um, when they're getting away in their uh, really nice car. You know, uh, she lifts it in the air, and uh, the girl in the car is revving the engine, you know, but the car is tilted sideways in the air, and then Carrie just kind of, you know, steps to the side and does her telekinetic stuff, and the car hits into, like, a gas station and uh, it goes into like slow-mo and you see the girl come forward in the car and her face just like cracks through the windshield and you know it's just sticking out with the glass and stuff in it and her and Carrie kind of make eye contact and then Carrie you know you can just know she's thinking you're like you're a bitch so she just like steps back starts walking and just boom you know knocks over the knocks over the uh, telephone pole, blows up the gas station. I just love that little sequence right there. Um, I really love Chloe Grace Moretz in this film. I think she's awesome. She's uh, There's not many Hollywood actresses um, or actors nowadays that, you know, I anticipate their films, but uh, Chloe Grace Moretz is definitely one of those um, people that I look forward to seeing what they're doing next. Um, especially if it's, you know, horror, sci-fi, or something of that nature, um, or something fantasy-related, such as Kick-Ass, or something like that. So, yeah. Um, now I'll shift to the other films. If you've seen the other carries, and you enjoyed them, 
there should be absolutely no reason at all why you would not enjoy this. Uh, I like all three of the carries, so this just fits right in, and to me it's just another good remake um, in the veins of, you know, Let Me In, um, That We Are What We Are, even though I haven't seen the original, I know that the remake is good in my book. Um, and like the Evil Dead, uh, so, and Maniac, can't forget Maniac, so remakes are really stepping up their game, reboots are really stepping up their game, and uh, people are accomplishing and pulling off um, remakes and reboots that people actually enjoy, so yeah, um, definitely check this out, uh, it's well worth a watch. Um, if you get the Blu-ray, you get a couple extra bonus features. You get an alternate ending on here. And uh, there's also a really good audio commentary with Kimberly Pierce, who is the director. And uh, a couple other things. There's like a making of, but uh, you know, none of it's really too long. Seems to be how it is with Blu-rays nowadays. You get special features, but you know, there's nothing groundbreaking on them uh, in subject or lengthwise. So uh, check out Carrie. Um, I'm definitely going to give it another watching. I really enjoyed it. So uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, cheers.